All right, welcome back to Study Ball, and we are bouncing into the New Orleans Saints defense today. Took a look at their quarterback situation, their offense earlier in the week. Now it's time for the defense, and we're going to focus on just one game today with their defense because what I believe the name of the game is with this New Orleans Saints defense is versatility. Got a lot of guys that are very versatile in what that they can do. Mario Davis, uh, whether you're talking about Malcolm Jenkins, uh, Marshall and Lattimore, all these guys have flexibility in how they can play the game, which allows this defense to do a lot of different things each and every week. So we're going to take a look at a game that they played against the Tampa Bay Bucks, And I'm just going to show you all the different looks that they gave Tom Brady in the course of one game from a coverage standpoint. And so that's what makes it really hard on a quarterback is when you come up every snap and man, you are seeing something different and have to decipher it every single snap. Some teams are out there, hey, I know they're gonna play cover three, they're gonna play cover four, they're going to do this. Well, the New Orleans Saints don't do that. They change it up on a week to week basis. They change it up from one snap to another. Makes it really, really hard on the quarterback. All right, so here we go. All kinds of different looks. So what are we seeing right now? Looks like probably in some sort of man-to-man -man coverage. Man, man, man. This guy's probably covering the back. Man right there. Got a two safety high look right here. Man, if I'm looking at this, that's what I'm guessing. Probably some sort of two man right here. Check it out, see if it holds true. Nope, so on the snap, what do we see? On the snap, this safety is going to rotate back to the middle. This safety is going to come down and cover Antonio Brown out of the backfield. Davis here, he is going to drop out and become what we call a cop player. So what looked like two man now becomes what we call one cop. Man to man across the board. This guy reading the quarterback and he's free in the middle. Got to understand that kind of leverage I may see a lot of times when you're in this coverage, we're playing outside leverage man, forcing them back into our cop player. So got to understand those things as a quarterback. See Malcolm Jenkins coming down, does a nice job on Big Gronk, versatility of how they can play and where they can play in these different situations. All right, so we saw a little one cop. Here we are again. What are we thinking in this particular case? Looks like man, looks like man. Got the two safeties back here. We saw the one cop before. What are they doing here? Who's covering tight end? These two linebackers look like they're more in a zone look. Let's see what they come out with here. So now here we go. Now we stay in our two man look. Off of the fake here, we're gonna drop down and cover the tight end. We're gonna come back here and we are going to cover the running back and we're gonna play two man on top of that, with safeties high, see this right here, he reads it, he's going to jump and double Mike Evans over here. We got man to man with the safety high over the top. Tough looks to be able to see. Tom's got to work through it. Progression, confusion, got to throw the football away. All right, so now they come back, and they're going to play Tampa 2. So we've seen one cop. We've seen two man. Now we're going to see cover 2, Tampa. Tampa simply means the Mike linebacker is going to drop deep and almost be like a hole or a middle player in this particular coverage. So it's very similar to a cover 3 look because we've got a guy in the deep middle now. Roll up here. Roll up. Hook players, and what you're going to see is they're going to step up a defensive lineman, and they're going to pop him out into this area because that's the weakness of Tampa 2. When that Mike linebacker runs out of there, underneath him is usually the soft spot. So now we're going to pop a defensive lineman out to take that into the middle. Now you've got to be able to work through all of this stuff, dropping eight guys, making it tough, settle for a check down. They rally and make the tackle. All right, here we go again. What do we got? Tough two. Figure out what this look is right here. Got a linebacker in here, okay, with three receivers out here. So I wouldn't guess that they're playing man-to-man, -man, right? We're not going to expect him to cover Mike Evans there, are we? 
Too high safety again. What are we going to get here? Okay, so you're going to see as we run through this thing, it is a version of what appears to be a kind of a man combination. Bring pressure off the backside, backside safety dropping down to cover the back. One on one right here. Even with this linebacker, it appears that they're running some sort of combo man. He's going to go man there. I'm going to man here. Corner's going to man to the outside with the safety free up over the top to help that linebacker that's on Mike Evans. But a lot of different crazy looks. Come out, think you got one thing, think you got a too high look right here. They bring pressure on the backside. Oh, we missed the block. We come down, we check it down. Now they're there to rally and make the tackle. Really good job, different looks. Here we go with the too high look again on the snap. They love to drop down into just a simple cover three. So it's almost like man on the outside as these guys are covering the deep area of the field. Safety going to drop down here, and we are simply going to play three deep, four under, off of that too high look. And you just see how they keep changing up, keep changing it up, keep changing it up, giving you different looks, make you think on every single snap, what are they going to do? Now we're going to walk up. Got guys walking up. Still got the two safety high look. Are they going to roll down? Looks like man here. Looks like some sort of pressure. Walk up a safety. Walk up a linebacker. Another guy on the edge here. What are they going to do? Okay, three guys over here offensively. So somebody's going to probably pop out to that side. What are they going to do on the back side? Is this safety coming down? Is he rotating back to the middle? All off of the same sort of too high look. Walking guys up. Hold it. Hold it on the snap. What do we do? On the snap, we're going to keep those safeties back. We're going to push over here. Davis is going to come out and he's going to overplay knowing that there's three receivers over there to the defense's right uh, defense's left-handed side. We're going to bring pressure back here, force the back to block. I've got safety help over here so no one-on-ones. Quarterback has to recognize all that, understand no one-on-one -on, -one on the backside, find his matchup, can't find it. They do a nice job running through this. Got a shot maybe right there, but they do a good job of passing that all off. Now, throw maybe if we go here, down here. But again, it's hard to know, are they going to rotate down? Do I have one-on-one -on, -one on the outside? What are they doing with that pressure look? They got these guys up. Oh, I think I've got two guys going to this side. I think I should be good. Boop, nope. They're going to fool you. They're going to pop this guy out. They're going to give you a different look keep you holding the football so Cam Jordan and company can get after you up front. Really, really well done once again. And they do this on a weekly basis. They give you all kinds of different looks. Okay, now it looks like the safety kind of starts down. He's backing up. Now it looks like a too high look. Are we in man-to-man? -man? Playing a zone, too high zone. What's the look here? And you'll see it on the snap. I'm going to pressure. I've got this guy man-to-man. -man. I'm going to force him to block me. I'm going to come up and play man-to-man. -man. I've got tight end man-to-man, man-to-man, man-to-man. And then we got two safeties high. Really tough two-man look. Tough against the pass. Forcing Tom Brady to hold the football. Nice job winning by Mike Evans. Got those guys on the outside. And the biggest problem here is they try to disguise it long enough. This guy's sitting outside leverage in two-man. Never want that. He should be tighter, playing on the inside, forcing his guy back to the safety. Gives him the ability to win to the inside, which you never want on two-man. But Tom Brady does a nice job of finding that throw, even though you're not quite sure what you're getting. Okay, too high look once again on the snap. What are they going to do? They're going to play what we call kind of a high three. Here, here, here. He's going to drop into the middle. And now they're playing some version of cover three. Could be a man combination as well. Even though it looks like he's zone dropping. Looks like he's zone dropping. You'll notice that they match this off. He goes here. He works to the outside with the tight end, which makes it look like it may be a version of man to the top. 
dropping in here, playing a zone type look to the backside. Got to recognize all of that. Tom, not really sure, a little hesitant. Has to check it down once again, then rally up and make the tackle is what the Saints team is all about. Too high look. Nope. Now on the snap, we're going to rotate down. Again, it looks like a cover three look. Every once in a while, they got guys that seem to be playing man. Jenkins here seems to be running man. He's dropping down into a zone, but maybe he's playing man on the back. They're dropping to a cover three zone on that side. Again, I'm even watching it on film, and they've got little nuances in there where they're chasing certain guys, playing some kind of man combinations underneath. Tom does a nice job of recognizing his one-on-one, -on -one, getting it outside and finding that matchup that he wants to make the game simpler. But this defense doesn't make the game simple. They're going to give you a lot of different looks. A lot of different looks. Okay, so this is the look that we saw before. Where walked up to this backside. Now they're going to pop out. They're going to drop this safety down to the backside to be here and cover the back. If he's not blocking this blitzer right here, we're going to try to bait you into throwing something quick here and then popping out to it. Or being able to hold the football. There you go. Again, Tom does a nice job of going, hey, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. And if anybody's watching somebody, a young quarterback's watching somebody in terms of making the game easier, watch the GOAT right here. He always does a great job of recognizing, hey, do I got an open hitch on the outside? Do I get an open one-on-one -on, -one on the outside? I don't have to try to force it into all these bodies on the inside, try to figure out if they're bringing pressure, or they're popping guys out, or whatever they're doing. Hey, do I have one-on-one -on -one out here on a deep hitch, on a stop route? Oh, I do? Great. Let me make sure that that safety doesn't run over the top and he doesn't roll. But once that doesn't happen, he gets depth. I'm going to take this all day long, and I'm going to forget about the mess that's going on on the inside because that's exactly what the Saints are trying to get you to do. Think about all the stuff that they're doing on the inside and miss the easy one-on-ones on the outside. Nice job by Tom Brady of recognizing it and getting it out there. And we're still going. All the different kinds of looks. This is all within one game. One game, passing situations, all the different looks that Tom Brady got to see from this Saints defense. Okay, so now we've seen a lot of cover two type looks, dropping into cover one. Now they're going to sit back and play a quarters look. Quarters, 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 playing a little press man quarters on the backside. So with that, we want to see this safety right here. Talked about this with Taysom Hill earlier. We got quarters. This guy wants to hesitate and jump. Now go get your post up over the top. But because they do so many different things, it forces some hesitation. Then you got a little pressure up front. You see the post. Post is happening. Safety jumps. Post is happening. Tom Brady's going to see it, but sees it late because of a little hesitation and the pressure. Now he's got to try to get it out there late. Ball's knocked down, almost intercepted in that situation because of the confusion that they cause, because they give you so many different looks in the course of a game. All right, similar type defense here. We're going to run this quarters look. Quarters, this guy sees the three receivers over to this side, so he's going to kind of push there. Got tremendous confidence in Lattimore back here one-on-one, -on -one, so they'll let him go with Mike Evans press. You got him man-to-man, -man, and I can push over here to this side. And again, are they going to go to two? Are they playing some sort of man? Is that safety going to drop back to the middle? You get caught going, oh, no, they didn't. They played quarters. This guy never got back to the middle. He jumps this one. Here's another shot at the deep post for Tom Brady, but you see, he's not sure what's going on. His feet are facing back to this side, doesn't really know, not comfortable with what he's seeing, has to hold the football. Now he gets to a check down once again. They're forcing him to check the ball down because there's some confusion on what exactly they're doing. Tom's not clear on it. Force those check downs. That's how you win games in the National Football League, especially against good quarterbacks. All right, so there's a great look at the Saints defense. One game against Tampa Bay, the best 
to ever do it. And you saw the number of times that he wasn't sure, he hesitated, he's holding the football, he's got to get it to his check down, missing some deeper reads, which is things that Tom Brady doesn't normally do. But that's what this Saints defense does to you. Great players that have great versatility, that can cover from different areas, can cover different players, can bring pressure when they want, a number of safeties that can help them disguise things. So many different good things they do defensively to cause that hesitation and allow their four guys uh, up front to get home. That was really the catalyst for this team last year was their defense. With the issues at quarterbacks, you have to understand that this is going to have to be key for them this year again, is their defense is going to have to be really, really strong as their young quarterback, whoever it may be, comes along and gets their offense hopefully up to speed later in the season and into the playoffs if they're able to make it. But tough defense to play against because they've got so many different playmakers and their scheme is really, really good because they're never going to give you the same thing very often within the course of a game.